Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a regex tutorial on free code camp, positive and negative look ahead. So we have look aheads, are patterns that tell JavaScript to look ahead in your string to check for patterns further along. This can be useful when you want to search for multiple patterns over the same string. There are two kinds of look aheads, positive look ahead and negative look ahead. A positive look ahead will look to make sure the element in the same in the search pattern is there but won't actually match it. A positive look ahead is used as question mark equal. This is the syntax and this is what it's doing a look ahead for, where the dot 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 is the required part that is not matched. On the other hand, a negative look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is not there. A negative look ahead is used as question mark exclamation and then dot dot dot, where the dot 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 is the pattern that you do not want to be there. The rest of the pattern is returned if negative look ahead part is not present. Present. So here's an example. We're having a variable quit with a QEU. And now we're using a regex for that. We're a positive regex, a positive look ahead because we have a question mark and an equal sign for the U. So now when we match this to this, it sees it, but it doesn't match the po positive. So it won't actually match it. So it'll just return the Q. And for this one, no quit with QT. And then we have a not Q. We have a question mark exclamation for a negative look ahead. So it sees Q, does not see the T, and it just returns the Q because the rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead present part is not present. Since the U is not present, the rest of it is returned, which is the Q. So here's another example where we have a representing a password checker. We have a password and the parameters of this password is that it's three to six characters long. And this is what the first part is checking, going and looking ahead, check. So this is indicating that is a look ahead, well, parentheses and then question mark, look ahead. So any type of alphanumeric characters, which that's at least three and at most six characters. Now we have another look ahead and it's a positive and it's looking at slash capital D star and it's gonna be at least one number. So zero or more non-number and then the rest having at least one number and this combines, we'll check it. So for this exercise, it wants us to use look aheads in the PW regex to match passwords that are greater than five characters long and have two consecutive digits. So we're looking at the first part for it, greater than five characters long. So we can delete this change and we can follow the same syntax for this one. So we can do a parentheses, question mark equal. And then, so at least five characters long. So we have to use slash parentheses, question mark equal positive, look about, positive look ahead, I mean. And now we do, any character, any alphanumeric character. So A, I mean, sorry, W. And it has to be six, at least six. And now, at least six. And now there's two consecutive digits. So we do another one, question mark equals slash D asterisk for zero more non-digit and then we have the digits. So to class D that is at least two more And we have to close this parentheses out. Great, so, great. So this is testing it one more time. A positive look about, look ahead. And any characters that has six or more, this is greater than five. And then 
Now, any and also this other parameter where it's checking any non-digit zero more, and then the rest is at least two digits with this last two and it slash D and then two. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much.